Good morning, students. Now we are going to discuss the movement in certain other types of animals, that is the snake and also the gates of a box. You know, when we are concerned the gates of a snake, it is a common uh, creature we can see around us. So when we are concerned the gates of a snake, snake is a, a vertebrate. We have seen that uh, the animals which are having back wall, they are commonly known as a, a vertebrate. So snake is considered as a vertebrate and uh, it has a long backbone which is uh, very flexible. The backbone which is present in the case of a snake is uh, very flexible. Because of the flexibility of this backbone, so snakes are able to uh, curl their body into many loops. This is one of the important features we can observe in the case of a movement of these uh, snakes. So snakes are able to curve their body into many loops. And uh, do you know how this is uh, uh, help them to move? You can observe that each loop pushes against it down and to give a forward movement of the body in the forward direction. So you can say that each loop pushes against the ground to give a forward push to the body. And because of this forward push only, snake can move from one place to another. So this feature of this, that means uh, the flexibility of this uh, backbone help the uh, snakes in their uh, movement. Now when we are concerned the case of uh, uh, birds, you can see that uh, birds are flying with their wings which are considered as this uh, modified uh, fall leaves. So wings are considered as the modified uh, form of a uh, fall leaf something. And also bones of these dogs that is a hollow and very light. So because of this uh, property of these bones help them to fly in the air. That means the bones are hollow and uh, light. It is a uh, uh, make them easier to fly. And also these uh, uh, strong muscles in their breast form help the dogs to fly their uh, wings. So these are some of the important properties we can observe in the case of birds and these properties help them to fly in the air. 